Okay. Now we have uh, four or five more to go. We'll get these done as quickly as we can. Next up, Monoro Suzuki defends the never open weight title in a loser gets their hair cut death match with no people to help them, no seconds allowed against Hiroki Goto. And this match is very simple, of course, you know, Suzuki beat Yano for the title at Power Struggle a couple months back. Uh, you know, was challenged by Goto, Suzuki denied it, he was done with Goto. Uh, you know, they kept challenging, and again, Goto offered to put his hair on the line. Um... And this is apparently a death match, meaning anything goes. And if you've ever seen a death match in Japan, you know how fucking ridiculous it is. So this and this match is going to be a fucking war. It's going to be incredible. Suzuki has been around for several decades, you know, doing MMA, wrestling, whatever. And you know, he's probably one of the last traditional wrestlers in Japan. Uh, when I say traditional, I mean like as far as the old school throwback style, and even as far as the pro resu shoot style in Japan is. Uh, but you know, I feel like Suzuki's gonna win. Not that Goto can't win, but Goto has been basically the guy that loses to everybody for the past couple years. Whatever it's world titles or any title for that matter. Uh, so I'm going to, it's probably, and also it's a very safe bet to go Suzuki, regardless. Uh, especially he had a great match with Cody a couple months ago as well. Didn't really lose often either. And this is going to be for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship in a four-way. Uh, as the current champion, Marty Scroll representing Bullet Club, versus Hiromu Takahashi with Daryl, of course, the reborn Daryl, uh, Kushida, the winner of the Pro Wrestling World Cup, and the Aerial Assassin, and technically a member of Suzuki Goon, or no, technically a member of Chaos, but excuse me, Will Ospreay. And also it's the first ever four way for the for the title as well. Um and you know, scroll how did he beat? Again, I'm looking over some notes just to make sure who I am kind of in the loop here. You know, so it basically just became a four-way. Uh, he scroll face everybody. And it has been defended in the past, you know, with Prince Devitt. Now it's been Balor defending against Abushi and Loki in a freeway. But this is the first time it's been a fatal four-way, if you will. I don't think it's elimination. Is it elimination? I don't remember. But, uh, you know, there's four great guys with this title. But, you know, Scroll, being the newer guy and, quite frankly, the first British-born British junior heavyweight champion, and not counting Will Ospreay, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. And, of course, why I say they were born Daryl, of course, Bad Luck Fowley killed Daryl, unfortunately, several months ago during the G1 Classic. It was very traumatic, very horrible. I mean, it's... I can't even put it into words. I'm, it's hard to keep me speechless. But, uh, you know, I don't know this one. It, four great guys, too. Uh, I'm going to pick Scroll, but I really think Takahashi might win it. I feel like Takahashi. I wouldn't be surprised if anyone won it, though. Next up... For the IWGP Intercontinental title, uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Jay White. Uh, Jay White, what was his new name? His new name, what was his new name? I don't remember his, his fucking name. What was it? It was Switchblade. It was fucking Switchblade. Fucking, yeah, that's what it was. And Tanahashi, of course, defended it against Ibushi uh, a while back. And Jay White returned with a new gimmick. It was very interesting, too. I mean, if you can go back and watch it, it's incredible. Uh, you know. And it's fucking Tanahashi, first of all. The 
you know, if people have said for years, Tanahashi is the John Cena of New Japan. That's a fact. But, you know, uh, it's going to be a great match regardless. And it's a good it's a good learning experience for Jay White because, unfortunately, he will lose. It, it's going to be that simple. Uh, but, you know, it, it's interesting to me. Uh, it's going to be a great match regardless. And now the match, probably everyone, mostly everyone, is watching this show for. For the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship in a no disqualification match. It's basically going to be a war. As for the first time since 1997, Chris Jericho will compete in a non WWE ring and first the first time in 90, uh, probably several decades since he competed in New Japan. As he will face the United States champion, Kenny Omega, Alpha versus Omega. This is the match of the year. And it hasn't even happened yet. But it will be the match of the year, regardless. Uh, or, this has been months. A Twitter, mostly a Twitter war. And it actually happened. It actually happened. We saw him attack Kenny Omega a couple months. Uh, actually, technically it was a couple months ago. But still, you know, it's a new year. But still, this is the match everyone has, has their eyes on. This is unofficially the main event. It may very well be the main event. I don't know. But I feel like... And it's probably a one-time deal. We don't know what Jericho is going to do. We have not seen him since he lost the United States Championship to Kevin Owens. We have not seen him in a while. And then this happens out of nowhere. So, with that being said, if Jericho doesn't win, Kenny Omega will. And that's probably the safest thing to say about this match. That's probably the safest position in this whole series of fucking prediction videos for this for this whole event. Because if Jericho wins and brings the title to the WWE, which probably will not happen, it'll be interesting to see what will happen if that happens. Because, quite frankly, that could destroy New Japan from inside. It probably won't, but you know, I mean, you know, it's it's shades of the Monday Night Wars. Even though that would be impossible to do nowadays, especially with international companies like New Japan and WWE. But still, Jericho probably won't win because he's probably going to go back to WWE, and he has the Wrestle Rock Cruise, and he has all that stuff going on. He has Fozzie tours, so it wouldn't make sense for him to win the title. But wouldn't it be insane if he did? And if that, we'll go back to. Technically the main event, but again, I think we just went through it for sure. 